Olá pessoal, sejam todos bem-vindos ao canal Biogames. O vídeo de hoje é a continuação do gameplay do jogo Minecraft Story Mode Episódio 2. Esse jogo foi lançado para várias plataformas, mas esse que eu estou jogando é do console Nintendo Wii U. Se você é novo aqui no canal, não deixe de se inscrever para acompanhar os próximos vídeos. E agora sem mais comentários, vamos para o gameplay. I got cool stuff coming your way. I got you a bow and some arrows. A bow? In a cannon fight. Axel, there are all sorts of cliched lines about this. Yeah, but the TNT inside the cannon. TNT plus arrow. Oh, yeah. Time to see how well you fly, pig. Ruben! Boom! I got you, I got you. Man, you smell delicious right now. Hey, Magnus! Yeah, short stuff. Flying pig jokes are totally played out. <laughs> oh, crap! Say something there, champ? It's just the winner sometimes, I don't know, gives a speech. Who likes explosions? That's right, yeah you do! And that's why I'm standing up here today! Well, you guys ready then? Oh, yeah! This'll be a way easier target than Magnus! Wait, what's going on? Oh, well, that's not good. Holy crap! Is that your wither storm? How are we? What are we? That's... Ah! Oh no. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Stop eating my kingdom! Magnus, come on! You'll regret messing with Boomtown! Go! Okay, just a little farther! Wow! Someone really went bonkers with the defenses, huh? <laughs> Whoa! Who goes there? Oh, Jesse? Is that you? Lucas! Hey! We're back! I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Magnus! Fantastic! Quick, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. Gabriel! Hello, everyone. It is good to see you. He showed up not too long before you guys. Magnus, my old you friend. You always were a tough cookie to keep down. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's good to see you too, you old meathead. And it's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. It's such a relief to see you. I'm glad you're okay. 
If you hadn't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches, well, let's just not think about that. I came here to the temple, hoping against hope to find other survivors. It makes me glad that even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold, a symbol. Wow. Did Petra get away too? Did you see? All that creature left in its wake was bedrock. All of those people. Your friend Petra. No one could get away. We are alive. That means there's still hope. Come along. Everyone else is still inside. Wow! Been a while since I've been here. Whoa. What is she doing here? Oh, this isn't going to go well. Right. Um, I forgot to mention... Olivia went on a little expedition of her own while you were gone. And this Olivia person came back with her? Did you know about this? Did Eligard put you up to this? You think you know a guy, and then bam. And this is a problem? <laughs> you bet your butt it's a problem. No way am I working with her. Not after... <sighs> Jesse, Jesse, look, I found Eligard. Just hang on a sec, okay? I'll go figure out what's going on. Good, you do that. Easy now, Olivia. Let's try and play it cool, hmm? So, who are you now? And why did you bring him with you? We're reuniting the Order of the Stone. It was kind of crazy, actually. I went to Redstonia, and there were all these incredible engineers and inventors. It was a little intimidating, actually, but Eligard's made me her protege. Well, assistant for now. I mean, after what happened. I know, I'm sorry. So sorry. So now you're Eligard's, what, assistant? Protege? Well, I tried to get into Eligard's private chambers to talk to her, and long story short, it didn't go very well. She might have, well, embarrassed herself a tiny bit. Yeah, but after I pled my case, she agreed to take me on as her assistant and come back to help. Not bad, right? Oh, hooray! It's Ellie, and here I was just starting to enjoy myself. Hello, Magnus. Your voice is exactly as pleasant as I remember, which is to say, not at all. Oh. My feelings. Is that the same wit you're gonna use to save the world? Why? You're here to tell me how to do it better? Oh, I would never dream of doing that. Unlike you, I actually do things instead of just talking about them. Hey, that's Eligard you're talking to. Show her some respect. Wow, you finally found yourself a live one. Hey! Your little devotees are usually a little more on the bookish side. Magnus, as the ruler of Boomtown, I command you to shut up! Is that so? Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. Yeah, I'll admit, that thing looked real nasty. And I've seen some nasty stuff in my time. Too much for you, was it? Your usual brutish approach didn't cut it? Hey! You weren't there, all right? You didn't see how this thing just tore everything up. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse speaks the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. I don't know if you've looked around yet, but this place isn't nearly the stronghold it used to be. Most of our supplies are gone. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? So what are we gonna do? How are we going to stop it? Well, let's not panic, first of all. That's a good first step. But even if we had all the TNT for miles around, I don't know if it would be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. Wait, Magnus. She may have a point. 
Soren did have certain objects, inventions. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formida Bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-Bomb before. F-Bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-Bomb could destroy anything. Well, the Formidi Bomb sounds perfect. We should go get it. Now! Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But... You found Magnus and Eligard. Do you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. How are you holding up, Lucas? I'm all right. This has all been pretty intense. I feel like if I think too much about what's been going on, well, I'll just think I'm completely nuts. It's great that Gabriel showed up again. But I hope Petra's still alive out there. She's the toughest person I know. She's gonna be okay. She's... She's just gotta be. Hello, Eligard. You said you know how to activate the map? I'm very curious to see it. I've never actually seen it work before. Hey, Gabriel. Well, go on, Jesse. Show them what you can do. Hey, Axel. How are you doing? I'm hanging out with Magnus. I'm doing awesome. Glad to hear it, buddy. Hey, Magnus. Hey, small fry. No shame in admitting you can't turn that thing on. It's very, very sophisticated. I'm going, I'm going. I know what I'm doing. Hey, Olivia. You okay? I'm all right. I can't shake the feeling that I embarrassed myself back in Redstonia, in front of Eligard. I think she kind of judges me a little bit. It'll be okay. I hope you're right. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that at any rate. I mean, I never actually went there with him. So, why aren't we going? Is there some kind of problem? Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Who is that? Oh no, it's... That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Perfect. 
We can wait till tomorrow morning and travel with a full day's sunlight. Uh, and risk that thing catching up with us? I think I've had enough wither storm for one day. Ah, uh, thank you very much. Right, because getting caught out there in the dark is so much better. Trust me, if you had seen this thing, you wouldn't want to stick around. Yeah, I don't want the wither storm catching up with us. We should go, now. Jesse here's talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but... Fine. Okay, everyone, let's get moving. Jesse, right? Oh, hello. We haven't had the chance to acquaint ourselves properly. According to Gabriel, you saved him from this wither storm. Sounds like you're a pretty impressive individual. Picks fights with lots of monsters? Always defending the weak and defenseless? Are you making fun of me here? Making fun of you? Oh, no, I'm saying you sound like a legitimately impressive individual. My apologies if my <laughs> tone is a little hard to read. In any case, I sort of wish that you had taken my side earlier, but water under the bridge and all that. A slight tangent, what's the uh, deal with your friend Olivia? I appreciate her enthusiasm, but she can be a little much sometimes. She's always very eager to jump in and help, which is sweet, of course, though sometimes I wish she would think a bit more before jumping in. Olivia is one of my best friends. She's smart, and she always has a plan. Oh, wow. Interesting. So, why didn't you listen to her plan to come and recruit me? Not to make it awkward or anything. Or to demand, why didn't you want to recruit me? <laughs> Just curiosity. I figured that we needed firepower, and no one knows destruction better than Magnus. The man does know how to blow things up with reckless abandon, that's for sure. I'll do my best to not let it hurt my feelings. <laughs> joke. That was a joke. Yep, exactly what I worried about, and exactly why we should have waited till morning. At least the wither storm isn't tearing us apart right now, all right? Well, we can hash that out later. Because we've got some monsters to fight here, people. Daytime. How far is Soren? It can't be much further. Not much farther. We can make it. from anyone. Enchanting, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, and I'm really not feeling those columns. Ah, oh, come on! It's fine! Look! Oh! 
and thought I would come down to help. <laughs> Endermen. There are so many. I didn't think they ever came in groups that big. Thanks for coming back, Lucas. I mean that. away. That's it. I'm going. See? I'm walking away too now. Super TNT. Here I come. It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we going to do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out. I'm glad he came along. Even if it did take a bit of persuading. a statue of me, I wouldn't choose that pose. I'd look like this. Hey, Gabriel. Hello, Jesse. You okay? Looks like Olivia's working up more plans, as usual. Hey, Jesse? Yeah? It's Gabriel. He... I don't know, he doesn't seem right. I tried asking, but maybe he'll talk to you? Gabriel, are you okay? I know it's not the best time, and I, I don't want to worry you, but there's something I'd like to discuss with you in private, Jesse. But let's split up. Bom, pessoal, a gameplay vai terminando por aqui. Espero que vocês tenham gostado da gameplay e muito obrigado por assistirem até o final. Se gostou, não esqueça de deixar o like e deixar o seu comentário. Se inscreva em nosso canal, ative o sininho para receber a notificação de novos vídeos, compartilhe o vídeo com seus amigos e assista também aos outros vídeos que estou deixando aqui para vocês. Até o próximo vídeo, pessoal. Muito obrigado. Valeu! Fui!